In this part, we're going to look at what we call a gapped text. A gapped text is a text where some sentences have been taken out and your task is to put them back in again to create a text where the order of information is logical and there is a clear relationship between sentences. There is always one or sometimes two extra sentences which don't fit, which don't go anywhere. Um, this information will be in the instructions for doing the task. Now let's look at some strategies for doing this type of task. Start by reading the instructions. Note that, that there is one extra sentence that you do not need to use. As with a multiple choice task, the first thing you should do is read the title of the, of the text to get an idea of what you're going to read about. Normally, you would read the, the complete text quickly to get an overall idea of what it's about. To practice, we are going to use the example zero and the first question, um, which in this case is question seven in the reading test, um, and the gaps are in the first paragraph. So that's what we're going to focus on to practice the strategies. Now look at the list of sentences. Read the sentences looking for any words you think might help you to decide where they fit in the text. It's a good idea to underline any clues you find as it will help you to focus. These clues will help you to understand how the ideas and the sentences are connected. They may be reference words, for example, pronouns, he, she, one, possessive adjectives, he, their, demonstratives, that, these, linking words or, or expressions, for example, therefore, on the other hand, or vocabulary. Now read the paragraphs in the text one by one. Think about the topic of the paragraph. Look carefully at what comes before and after each gap in the text. Underline any words or expressions that you think might be important. Are there any obvious clues that link them to one of the sentences? Let's look at the example zero. Here the missing sentence is H. I've underlined the pronoun one, which must refer to something mentioned in the previous sentence. There is also a, vocab a vocabulary clue in the, similar in the similarity of meaning between the words chance and opportunity. Now let's look at the next gap, question seven. Look carefully at what comes before and after the gap. Is there a sentence which obviously fits? The sentence which fits in the gap is I. We have the positive idea of hitting the big time and the use of but to introduce a contrast with this, something negative. But she needed the right instrument. Also, in the sentence following the gap, we find the word violin, which refers to an instrument mentioned in the sentence. When you have finished, read the completed text one last time, and if you think something doesn't make sense, go back and check your answers. Now let's go over the strategies for doing this type of reading task again. Remember to use the strategies when you're preparing to take the exam. Read the title of the text to get an idea of what you're going to read about. Read each paragraph again. What's the topic of the paragraph? Read the sentences which have been removed from the text. Look for clues. They may be reference words, for example, pronouns, demonstratives. They may be linking words or expressions or vocabulary. Underline any clues you find as it will help you to focus. Read carefully of what comes before and after each gap in the text. Underline any words or expressions you think might be important. 
read the completed text one last time to check that it makes sense. Thank you.